सो प्लीज रियलाइज कोई भी नया टेक्नोलॉजी टूल आप इंप्लीमेंट कर रहे हो कोई भी नया चेंज आप ला रहे हो दैट कुड एंड अप डिस्ट्रॉइंग योर सिस्टम इंसिडेंट मैनेजमेंट सुपर क्रिटिकल सो हमने डिफाइन कर रखा था कुछ प्रोजेक्ट्स को मिशन क्रिटिकल प्रोजेक्ट्स हमारी बिजनेस कंटिन्यूटी प्रोटोकॉल्स सिर्फ इन्हीं प्रोजेक्ट्स को केटर करती थी बहुत ध्यान से इसको पढ़िएगा आसान है प्लीज रीच आउट टू हैव अ कॉन्वर्सेशन आप अपना इंटरनल ऑडिट का प्रोसीजर मेरे साथ शेयर कर सकते हो हेलो एंड वेलकम वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो इन विच आई वॉक यू थ्रू the mandatory documents as mandated by the iso standard of 27001 2022 like you may already understand iso audits happen in two stages stage 1 is mostly about certain mandatory documents only when the auditor gets the mandatory documents will he get you to schedule the stage 2 or the implementation audit let me work with you to help understand the mandatory documents first point of caution here comprehension of what is mandatory is very very auditor dependent so sometimes you got to be careful about how the auditor is framing his questions in his pursuit to mark something as mandatory something as non mandatory but that's in a separate conversation sometimes else right now let me work with you to help you understand the basic documents document number 1 is the scope please realize all iso standards will have to have a trigger of your basic scope definition meaning uh, what service or product you offer as an organization what are your physical locations what is your soa version number all of this goes into a statement of scope which then becomes part of your a certificate that is issued to you as an organization so first and foremost is your scope document auditors will want some legal document uh, abhi mera ek audit hua hai uh, i've just finished an audit of iso 9001 in order to validate our scope gst ka bhi documentation msme documentation se unhone verify kiya whether we provide those product services as an organization or not so scope will be first document that they will look at document number 2 information security policy you will realize that all iso standards are very rigid about having a policy in place and that policy being communicated so a that this is approved by the management and that it is communicated to your employees uh, to your other interested parties so your quality uh, your uh, information security policy is yet another crucial document that the iso auditor will keenly look for the third set of documents is your security objectives you need the information security kpis to be put in place and how do you plan to achieve them is another set of document that the iso auditor will look at so list of kpis and their achievement scores how are they to be monitored and evaluated all becomes an auditable document from a iso 9001 2022 iso 27001 standpoint the next mandatory document from the iso 27001 is all about the risk treatment and the, the risk assessment and the risk treatment process 
So right from the methodology of identifying, analyzing, and treating risks, including your risk acceptance criteria, risk treatment plans, so refer to the details that you have in clause number 6.1.2, 1.3, and some clauses of clause 8. And you have a detailed documentation requirement vis-a-vis -vis risk, vis-a-vis -vis information security risk assessment and treatment processes. You would understand that information security has a lot of focus on information security's risk management standpoint. So very important uh, set of documents that are required here. One preliminary piece of document uh, required from the ISO 27000 standpoint is a SOA or statement of applicability like it is called. Uh, here you have to justify whatever controls you've included. And just in case you've taken any exclusions, you will need to mention your exclusions and provide justification for that. So a statement of applicability, wherein you have a list of all the controls that you've put together, list of all controls that you've omitted, and justification for both have to be put in place. This is a mother document. This will go into your scope statement as well. This is a very, very important piece of information. The next uh, could be a special mention of the risk treatment plan. Uh, whatever risks you've identified, how do you plan to mitigate them or accept them? What are you doing vis-a-vis -vis your information security risk? Uh, how are you aligning your business strategy, your ISMS policies? Will be an important document. Uh, that the auditor will look at. Another very basal information is the roles and responsibility document vis-a-vis -vis information security. Uh, you will need a list of who is responsible for the overall management of information security, policy security within the organization. Uh, so you have to have clear responsibility, accountability of who does what vis-a-vis -vis information security. Uh, read the clause 5.3 for more details. You know, uh, there are some reporting related requirements also apart from uh, everything else. Reporting on performance of information security is an important piece that you have to consider here. Another uh, driving document for information security is your inventory register, inventory of assets and the associated uh, acceptable use policies. Uh, you will have to put together a list of all information assets and get agreeable usage guideline signed for each of these uh, policies. Refer to uh, the annexure 5.9 and 5.10 uh, for more details on this. You have uh, another requirement in terms of encryption. So cryptographic control policy is another mandate that is required from a ISO 27000 standpoint, uh, NHR 8.24. It mandates how encryption and cryptographic techniques are used within the organization. Uh, it covers encryption standards, key management, protection methods, all vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the A8.24. Another very, very crucial uh, piece of documentation from information security standpoint is your uh, secure development and change management associated policy. You got to realize that ISO 27001 just in case you software development ki activities conduct kar rahe. So secure development practices ke around बहुत robust infrastructure का demand करेगा और what are you doing vis-a-vis -vis your change management uh, for example एक technology infrastructure है उस technology infrastructure में हम upgrade कर रहे हैं हमने एक नया tool का version लगाया है what is the change management structure जो आप इस्तमाल करने वाले हो will be a very important document that the auditor will look at. 
both from a policy policy standpoint or but also from the on the ground implementation standpoint uh, main agar auditor hu to main janna chahunga have you done impact analysis so please realize koi bhi naya technology tool aap implement kar rahe ho koi bhi naya change aap la rahe ho that could have implications that could make uh, that could end up destroying your system so what is your fallback plan what is your rollback plan agar kaam karega to uske liye aapne testing kari ki nahi kari aapne backup liya hai ki nahi liya hai so entire change management ka infrastructure will be a important consideration vis a vis uh, this particular requirement uh, a8 uh, 32 aur 33 ko ek bar dhyan se pad lijiye uh, very important uh, area to consider theek hai incident management super critical uh, pura information security ka ek bahut important pillar hai incident management ka pura infrastructure so uh, the incident management procedure and the associated structures uh, how security incidents are to be detected how are they to be reported how uh, your uh, how your business is going to be responsible towards that uh, what are you doing towards incident escalation kaise uski analysis karoge ko kaise aap post incident review karoge incident management ek bahut important element hai iso 27001 mein aur ek control nahi hai isme चार पांच कंट्रोल्स हैं जो इंसिडेंट मैनेजमेंट इवेंट मैनेजमेंट एसोसिएटेड है बहुत ध्यान से इसको पढ़िएगा आसान है फ्रॉम अ डूबिलिटी पर्सपेक्टिव बट एज अ ऑडिटर इस पे बहुत फोकस होता है इसको बहुत ज्यादा पॉइंट्स पे लिंक करने की कोशिश करेगा ऑडिटर इसलिए इसका बहुत ध्यान रखना है बहुत क्लियरली डिफाइन होना चाहिए आपका इंसिडेंट मैनेजमेंट का इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर business continuity and disaster recovery bcp dr plans uh, is a requirement for iso 27001 so how are you looking at driving business continuity information security management system mein ek important question hai to aap kaise backup banane wale ho uh, disaster ke case mein kaise recovery hone wali hai emergency communication plans kya hain dependent on uh, what you consider as a continuity situation what you consider as uh, critical business operations uske consumerate aapko bcp dr ka plan banana padega and this is very organization specific jaise meri pichli organization mein hum sirf mission critical projects ko तो so, हमने डिफाइन कर रखा था कुछ प्रोजेक्ट्स को मिशन क्रिटिकल प्रोजेक्ट्स हमारी बिजनेस कंटिन्यूटी प्रोटोकॉल्स सिर्फ इन्हीं प्रोजेक्ट्स को केटर करती थी तो विच मीन दैट इनके अराउंड हमने बैकअप्स ड्रॉ कर रखे थे हमारा रिकवरी साइट्स उसके अराउंड केटर था ऑल ऑफ दैट बट दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी अंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन टू कंसिडर टर्नल ऑडिट शायद one of the basal parameters so uh, pillar stones if you if you may want to call it uh, is information security ka internal audit program you know how are you uh, planning to do your internal audit so you have to have a audit plan you have to have audit schedule and then you have to have audit reports you must ensure non conformity handling ka process follow kar rahe ho uh, reach out to me uh, aap apne internal audit program pe uh, please reach out to have a conversation aap apna internal audit ka procedure mere sath share kar sakte ho uh, agar aapke paas koi questions on how internal audits need to be handled uh, what are you doing in terms of your audit finding reporting uh, non conformity handling corrective action प्लीज रियलाइज ऑडिटर का फेवरेट एरिया है अगर नॉन कंफॉर्मिटी हुई तो करेक्टिव एक्शन ट्रिगर होना ही होगा सो योर 
नॉन कन्फॉर्मिटी हैंडलिंग मैकेनिज्म हैज टू बी ब्लडी रोबस्ट इंटरनल ऑडिट एक बेसिक फ्रेम है जिस पे इंफॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी रेस्ट करता है सो इंश्योर करिए दैट इंटरनल ऑडिट के प्रोग्राम है एंड आई विल आई विल गिव यू माय ओन स्टोरी बाकी कहीं फीडबैक आ सकता है अगर इंटरनल ऑडिट में किसी एक्सटर्नल ऑडिटर ने हमको फीडबैक दे दिया तो इट गोज अगे ओन क्रेडिबिलिटी तो इस पे कभी भसड़ नहीं कर सकते आप इट विल कम बैक टू हॉन्ट यू वेरी हार्ड अगर इंटरनल ऑडिट में Uh, कोई फीडबैक मिल गया एक्सटर्नल ऑडिट पर बी केयरफुल